Hello everyone. Today I want to show you uh, some advanced uh, pivot table technique that is very helpful for reporting dashboards. Um, so, for example, the scenario here that I have is that you have a large spreadsheet of various employee information. Let's say it's about um, incentive, it's about salary increase and uh, incentive pay for different employees in different um, uh, country, in different departments, different job grades, and then you want to do a summary for it. So of course, uh, the first thing we need to do is um, a pivot table. So you select the full data and then uh, you insert a pivot table into your spreadsheet and let's say uh, we want to review uh, the uh, compensation cost by salary uh, job grades um, and we want to see how much uh, base salary expense it is for uh, each of those grades and we want to see um, how much incentive we actually paid for those people so yeah so that's a very typical um, a pivot table that you will see and normally you change the format and everything um, and then uh, let's say you wanna like on top of the sum of those two um, those elements uh, you actually want to see what is the total cash for those two fields so of course one way to do that is to add a field in the um, original column and then bring that into the pivot table but then I'm going to show you how to use calculated field to do that directly on the pivot table so to do that you need to go to the pivot table tool analyze and fill in items uh, the first one on here will be calculated field. So let's say you wanna, you actually wanna ca um, calculate total actual cash, which is the base salary plus actual incentive. So let's make that um, clear in the title and then for the formula um it is what uh what we are showing here so actually what you need to do is um select the item that you need to uh, do the calculation um and then add like this is sum so let's just do sum and add uh the the field that you need uh for incentive and then double click and then you have those two summed up and then what you need to do is actually just click OK and you see the calculated field is actually popped up and it should be the sum of those two columns. So let's change the um, width of it so that uh, it looks more pleasant in uh, for the reporting purpose. So that's how you can do calculated field and let, let's just do one more. So let's say you see we have uh, the sum of total um, actual incentive paid and we actually also have uh, a field called target short term incentive paid. Let's make them the same. So format painter and then do it to this column and then you can uh, bring it to the same words in the same format and then let's say we want to do another calculated field of um, to see what is the actual incentive paid as a percentage of the target short-term incentive so again this is something really handy to do with a calculated field so we still go to calculated field um, and then we name a new uh, field which is uh, actual incentive uh, as percentage of target um, and our formula here is for example um, the double click the tar uh, actual incentive paid divided by um, the target uh, short-term incentive and then we OK it and here we go. So this is actually the field that we want. And the only thing you need to do is actually make sure you change that to uh, a percentage. If you want to make change to those calculated field, you simply go back to the calculated field and then you uh, click this drop down arrow and then you can select the ones that you just named and put a f um, the formula and then you can modify as you wish.
Okay, so I've shown you what the calculated field can do. It is also very important to know what it cannot do. So from my experience, I found that the calculated field can actually do just simple um, adding, subtracting, multiplying and uh, dividing, uh, it cannot do average. So say if you have a field and then you want to say average, um, something, something, it actually doesn't work. The formula does not work this way. It can also not do anything um, that's in the original data table, uh, but not in this uh, pivot table fields. So basically, the calculation can only be done for the uh, fields that's showing here. And let me give you an example here. So let's say if I want to do a calculated field um, that is based on uh, the amount of the base salary here. So let's say uh, I want to create a new calculated field and then I want to say um, base um, incentive for base salary greater than uh, let's say 500,000. So that's our name. Um, and we basically say you can actually add an if function. So if uh, let's go to the field that we have here. If our base pay uh, is greater than, you add greater than 500,000, then you sum the actual incentive paid, comma, and then if not, zero it, and then let's see what comes up. Yeah, so you actually, you have the field calculating right, uh, like what you see here, and then you see this is below uh, 500,000, this is below 500, so it's not calculating. For everyone else, it's calculating. So it's working right there, right? But then let's say um, I want to add another field, calculator fields, to say um, I want to look at the incentive for um, like a merit increase, merit increase over. Uh, five percent, and then you want to do this exactly the same formula. Say if my merit increase is greater than five percent, then sum my actual incentive, comma otherwise zero, do nothing, and okay it, and then let's see what we have here. So actually, you can see in here. Um, it is actually exactly the same. This column is exactly the same as the column of the total. Um, and that cannot be right because in my merit, um, in my merit column, I know I have all kinds of, like I have, I know I have increased below 5%. But um, this filter is not filtering it, so you know that it's not uh, doing uh, the calculation that it's supposed to do. So, and the reason for that is you don't have merit increase here. You only have the base salary increase here, and you can calculate based on that, but you cannot calculate for uh, incentive if uh, based on merit increase because that's not a field in the pivot table. So yeah, so that's a that's something to remember, um, and this is everything um, like very basic but very handy about pivot table. And uh, on top of this, I also want to show you another quick trick of slicer, and um, and that is something like for example, you, you just saw that I I want to show. Uh, the common like the base salary information and the incentive information by uh, let's say I want to show them by um, country um, I want to show them by department I even want to show maybe want to show them by date of hire and um, usually like very typically people will do that by putting the filter on top in the filter uh, field and you can put different filters you can put the date of filter higher filters and then you can say okay now let's say um, let's see if we want to uh, show the data for department 3 then 
you can see just the data for department three, uh, blah, blah, blah. But then I'm going to show you um, an alternative way to do that. I think it's more visual, which is the uh, slicer. So to do that, you just go to analyze and then you go to insert slicer and insert timeline. So click on that and it basically have every single field you need uh, from the original table. And then let's just select the one we need, like country and department unit. And uh, yeah, and you see this is the data that's coming up. And then let's let's put the slicer somewhere um, outside of our table, uh, our pivot table, so that you can tell how the data change. Uh, relatively quick. Okay, so for country, um, it can be shorter. Yeah, and then um, I would also want to add a, a slicer for the date of hire. So that's where I go to insert timeline. And then they can Excel tells us that uh, this is the time column. And then you have this bar on top. Um, of your um, that allows you to choose any kind of period that you want and then you also notice here there's a drop down and then you can select by year by quarter by month and by days so let's say I want to select by year and then basically uh, I can select different years and I can if you um, hold shift and select it will allow you to select multiple uh, fields um, and if you want to clear them just click on the arrow like on the right cross on the top right and then you can do the same thing for department um, and then you can also hold control for multiple selection and then you can do it whichever way you want um, I found this more useful, like the, the slicer function, more useful than the filter ones because um, like sometimes it's just harder to click in it, into it and it's less click too. Um, and um, this is like the basic functionality of it, but then um, of course we can make it a much nicer, um, um, much nicer format uh, in a dashboard format. I, I, I basically in this video, I just want to show you the functionality, but then maybe later I want to um, demonstrate how to do a dashboard, a dynamic dashboard with all those functions uh, involved. And then you can see um, how we can make this nicer and more professional looking. But um, I hope the functionality can help you for this time. And um, that's all that I want to share today. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. If you have any question, please leave a comment and I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon.